Ghost frontman Tobias Forge is speaking about that incident where security made fans of the band remove their face makeup when they came to see the group. That was something that he is saying really pissed him off. And he's also speaking about Ghost fans in general. He says literally that he thinks Ghost fans are lonely people for the most part. And he expounded on that thought. I thought what he had to say was interesting. He was interviewed this month for Metal Hammer magazine. You can learn more at the link in the description. This is what Tobias had to say. First, things all got started during a performance in St. Louis, Missouri, when security apparently wouldn't allow Ghost fans to wear that face paint into the show, and they said they had to remove it. It's unclear exactly what that was about. I don't know if they're using some sort of dystopian facial recognition stuff or what, but that was definitely odd. But it was enough for Ghost to release a statement at the time. They were very fired up about it. The statement said, we'd like to apologize for a miscommunication about removing face paint that was not directed by Ghost. We wish to inform you that you will always, we will always encourage creative expression. We will never stifle it. And Tobias did speak to Metal Hammer Magazine for their latest edition, in which he shared his reaction to that whole issue. He tells them, I was furious. The story was that I heard it was an initiative taken by some of the security people who didn't approve of the band. They didn't like what we were doing, so they wanted to be mean to these kids, and those kids were really, really upset with that. They told them it was a band requirement. That was upsetting to me. We would never ask that of our fans. We want them to dress up. We want them to come and have fun. Of course, that makes absolutely no sense. Why would you not want them to paint their faces? Of course, Ghost would want that. Now, no secret, Ghost really loves their fans. Uh, Tobias has an interesting perception of the Ghost fan base. He seems to think they are lonely people. And uh, he said, over the years, I've come to understand that a lot of our fan base are, in one way or another, outsiders, or that their lives are lonely, or they're struggling with something. It feels like there's a lot of hurt among our fan base, and I want to address that. They found a kind of belonging, being in a group of Ghost fans. Now, there's a lot of rumors about what is next for Ghost. When will we get new music from the band? It's been, I believe, a couple of years now since we got Impera, which was an amazing record. But uh, Ghost, for sure, when they enter into new chapters in the past, they've chilled off uh, that generation of Papa Emeritus. So uh, I would very much be curious to see what happens with that. We told you previously that Ghost is working on a movie of sorts, and part of that involved filming two shows at the Kia Forum, but he says there will be a lot more to come in the film that wasn't filmed at those events. So a lot happening in the world of Ghosts, and it's very exciting to see. This is a band that is becoming one of the biggest bands on the planet, and that's worth celebrating because they're not that old of a band. They've really blown up in the last 10 years or so, and that is unique because you don't see a lot of bands that are breaking out into the arena and stadium realm like Ghost is, and they've done a lot of hard work, and that is certainly related to the vision of Tobias Forge, who has really pushed things forward for this group, um, and, and we're seeing other bands like Bring Me the Horizon doing amazing things as well, continuing to get huge, so um, Bad Omens is another band that's blowing up. I could see Sleep Token really becoming a huge band. I could see Slaughter to Prevail really becoming a huge band. So it's an exciting time in rock and metal. That is your latest update here at Rockfeed. Be sure to subscribe for the latest news and updates.